Hi guys, it's Paul again, bringing you some more videos on hair, hair loss, wigs, hair systems, whatever we want to call it. So on today's video, I want to talk about tape. The tape that we're going to stick the old syrup down with. I know some people will absolutely hate that word. If you watched last week's video where I went down to Southampton and had my hair fitted by New Hair for Men, Stu, the guy that owned it, recommended I give tapes a go. I've always been an adhesive guy, but I thought, you know what? I'm here, let's be open, let's try it. First off, really, with the tapes, um, there's some pros and there's some, obviously, some disadvantages, like there is with glue. So I just thought I'd do um, a bit of a my sum on it, and also I'm gonna take my hair system off with you and show you how to tape it yourself. I've only done this as well my first time, so if it doesn't turn out very well, I'm sorry. However, I have looked into it, I've seen it done before, I'm pretty confident I can crack it off for you, so we'll just do it together. So, first off, tapes. What's the difference? So, with tapes opposed to glue, you get your tapes and you put your tapes around your system. The tapes you'll use are something like these. These are one I used to do my front hair lace with. They are Walker Tape Minis. Um, if you've got the, I find these tapes the best. The reason being is that they've got like a, a very small slit. I don't know if you can see that. Like, like there you go. Um, and it just makes it easier. Just to, you know, when it's stuck on your head, you can just peel. So you can see how you can, you can just peel that. Um, and so, like, you know, when you're trying to fiddle, you're trying to get an edge, I really find that these are the best tapes out there. I've only tried a few tapes, but I just got these and I just can't see myself changing unless, you know, for all you tape makers, just literally make it easy for guys to peel off with no nails. Yeah, ish. All right, a bad day. Um, you know, I mean, we struggle peeling. I don't even put a tab on there. Put a tab to peel on it. Make it so much easier. There you go. Boom. I'll have commission on that. So yeah, you want to be taping the system down as opposed to glue. The main advantages of this is A, you can take it off more regular. So if you are someone that doesn't have the hair system, you know, you're just not comfortable with it or you're not just sure about having it stuck to your head, try the tapes first because worst case scenario, you can peel it off. I'm going to peel it off soon. As it's taped, you can just, you know, you can peel it off. You do need some lace release, but it is easier to come off. Not only that, the best thing about tapes is going to be the cleanup. I know it's going to be so easy to clean these tapes off. Um, I've obviously had a front tape, uh, front lace on the front with tapes. Um, always find it easier to clean. I have done the glue DIY video. If you've not seen that before, go and check that out. I have um, glued it down myself. And it is a pain to clean. Glue is a pain to clean, whereas tape is so much easier. So it's going to be good just to take my system off, you know, it does feel good, I won't lie to you, when you get your system off after you've had it on for a few weeks, it does feel slightly nice, so if you're kind of guy that, like I said, wants to take it off every now and again, tapes is probably going to be your friend. The disadvantages for tapes, I would say, is how it holds, so as a point of it coming off, no, it will not come off, alright, the tapes are good enough for that, however, it's not as, unless you were to sit there and solidly tape up absolutely everything, you're not going to get that stuck on feel that the adhesive will give you. Um, you know, if you look on the front here, it's very stuck on, but I don't know if you can hear this. If I get a bit that's not on tapes, you know what I mean? You can pull that, you can pull that off your head. So you can actually, that bit there, I can actually feel the system going up and down. However, it's taped around here, it's taped around there, it's not going to come off. So for me, when I did notice it, if I'm running or the biggest, the biggest point I actually notice it when I was jumping my mountain bike, when you're in the air with the helmet on, I could just, I could just feel it just doing this on the bits that it wasn't stuck on. So I'm not quite sold on that. However, I am sold on the fact that it is so easy to maintain. So again, if you are going to struggle with glue, tapes is going to be that easy option. So positives and negatives. Um, I'm going to show you right now how to take the system off with some lace release. We're going to take the tapes off, give it a clean. I'm going to quickly show you um, that and we'll stick it back on shortly. So guys, we're now in the bathroom. I always think if you're going to remove a system and you're using products, get yourself on a tiled floor, um, maybe a t-shirt that you're not too fussed about. Usually I'd wear no shirt. It will be fine on my clothing today. Um, so we're going to remove the system now with the tape 
I use Lace Release Walker Tape. Um, again, these guys are just, I think they're one of the few companies out there, to be honest. I think, you know, there are products out there, but obviously Walker Tape have uh, just got it um, spotted on. When you're using this to remove um, your tapes, like, you know what I mean? I personally like to use quite a bit. Some people say don't use so much, peel it off. I think you'll just get a feel of how it works. Now I have had this system on for, how long have I had this system on? I've had this system on for five days now. So it's not a bad time to remove. No, sorry, six days, I've had it six days. Um, it's, it's not a bad time to remove when I've had lace fronts before. I've always tried to keep within like four to five days just because it makes it easy to peel off. I'm guessing the system is the full same. So the more you change the tapes, the more they stay intact. The longer you leave tapes, they, they will go quite mushy and it becomes harder to clean. So that's something to bear in mind. I've left my tapes to be fair for like nearly three weeks once just got lazy um, and it was really hard to clean. So make it easy for yourself. If you're gonna do it this method, try and do it more regular by taking off your tapes more frequently. So yeah, let's remove the system now. Um, so I will probably start from the front um, and as you can see, just, you know, a few, just a few squirts there come, it come really, you know, it started to come easy off. You can just see as well a little bit of dirt you know, from, from the front there, where I've been um, biking. So again, you watch that dirt build up, you know, I'm just gonna slowly peel back now. Um, the tapes have actually stuck to the system. Um, sometimes, what I like ideally is I like them to stick to my head, so it makes it easier to peel off. So uh, when I'm doing the fronts, I will hold it down a bit, but I'll just slowly, so like, like now that's hurting, do you know what I mean? Um, so just nice little spray, make it easy like I say. It's, it's not comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. You know what I mean? You, when you're taking it off, it will hurt a little bit. Um, so, but you know what I mean? You just get used to it, pull it off there. There we go, I can say, you know what I mean? Just, it's stuck to my actual own hair there which is why it'll be a bit harder. So. Oh, there we go, and we're off. So, we've, we've peeled it off, I've no, I've no tape stuck to my head, and the tape is fully on the system. Like I said, don't, you know what I mean? Pick your hard and rip it off. You, you could damage your system. So just carefully peel the system um, when you're doing it that you don't, like say, you don't rip the system. As you can see, like in the middle, the system is really clean. Um, I thought he'd actually, no, he'd not put tape in the middle. So the tape is just all the way around the perimeter. Um, like I say, I think when I'm gonna tape this up, I'm just gonna put a tape just across the middle there, just for me, just for added um, security. Like I say, this is um, a skin and a lace, and I do find these lace bits quite good actually for that breathability. I find that when I sweat, the sweat comes through more. I was dripping the other day at the gym, and it's fine, and it has got like little peep holes in, peep holes? Little, little holes in there um, for cleaning it up. So, Let's take the tape off now. I've got the GoPro here. I'm gonna probably put it on a bit of a body cam so you can see exactly what goes on and I'll turn the camera a little bit towards the sink. Okay guys, we're gonna clean it out. I've got the body cam on now, looking cooler than ever. So it's gonna give you that bit more. I'm using this camera basically um, for the microphone so I can just dub over the sound of this GoPro. And shock horror, I actually forgot to press record on the GoPro. Don't. Easy. Just get your finger underneath the tape um, and just really just start peeling away. Um, what I would do is I would just you know put a little bit more lace release on there um, just to make yourself a bit easier. Just like that. Be really careful with your hair as well, obviously. If you're gonna if you're gonna pull away, just watch where you're pulling. 
you just get a little bit like that there we go now we're talking so what once you start it um do you know what i mean you can just put a little bit of, of lace release there and just literally just you know see how see how easy it's coming off It and that your t like the tape is off. Um, like I said, if you've ever done glue before, it is so much harder to clean. Um, you know, you can see that this the hair system now, like I say, all the tape's off. It was really easy to do. It took me four minutes there on the camera, so it's not too bad. Um, my probably only mistake is a couple of hairs did come off with the tape. What you will find, um, what you will find anyways, you will like lose a bit of her hair there and everywhere and it looks a lot but you, there's thousands of these hers so, but obviously if you did this every time, keep going and going, it, it will last longer. So what I like to do with this tape, is just literally roll it in a bit of tissue, like that, boom. I was joking. Yeah, turns on. I didn't turn turn the GoPro on. Off for nothing. So while we've got the hair system off, I really find now is a good time just to give it a really deep clean so you can wash it better than you can in the shower. You can do it with cold water as well so you won't be freezing. I often find that cold water just helps it out a lot. So colder the shower, the better when washing. And um, so I'm just gonna literally wash it. I'm gonna use um, this one. I'm going to use new hair for men, um, they've given me this to try out, so I've used it a couple of times, um, do quite rate it, turn the GoPro on this time, um, so yeah, just a couple of squirts here and there, I should have wet it first maybe, you know what I mean, just, I'll just wet it a little bit, okay, Go again. Keep washing it. So just literally just wash, wash the bottom, and wash the base as well. Just the, you know any any tape that might have been on there, like the stuff, will come off. Like I said to you, if you wash your tape regularly, you won't have any tape stuck. It'll all come off in one. Um, so that's that's a positive. Like I said, we're just literally just running the shampoo through the system. So now that we've washed it, I'm going to use the new Hair for Men uh, conditioner. I have actually used this quite a few times, and I will say, like, I didn't think you'll notice a bit with conditioners, but to be fair, this did make my hair feel really silky. Um, that's a word. Like I say, I'm no professional, I have tried lots of conditioners. I would say this is the best, so far. Okay, so again, just work it in. You can work it in with your hands or whatever. Um, for now, I'm actually gonna do this twice. Well, I say I'm gonna do it twice. I wanna show you something else in a minute. You can, like I say, you wanna just brush it through a little bit. So it's a good time as well now, you know, if you get any knots like that, just to, there we go, you know, it's straight out, you're not, you're not having to worry about. So we brushed our conditioner in, um, like that, it's, you know, it's, make sure it's in for a few minutes, don't just put it in and wash it off. I mean, just, again, wash it all out. And you, you can almost see a bit of silkiness that's that, that that's left. Right. Nice and washing out. Now, usually, again, I've, I've not shared with you this secret. Um, I have been using um, like a um, a mask, like a hair mask, something like that, has been helping. However, new for men again. 
bit like I'm on commission. No, I'm not really. Um, they've supplied me with, I'm, I'm assuming their own mask. So I'm, I'm literally gonna try this today. Um, yeah, probably say it's very similar. Anyway, we're gonna put this on. I don't even know how you apply this. Um, well, well, I just literally just slap it on like that. Um, you know, and you get a nice good amount on it. Don't be scared um, to, to, you know, to really put it in there. And then just get your brush again um, and just brush it through. Now what they say is leave it for around 15 minutes. So leave that for 15 minutes and come back for it. You know what I mean? Have a shower if you want to now. I would probably go and have a shower now if my camera wasn't in the shower. Um, so if that's the time, just go do that. So we've left it 15 minutes now and again, just quickly wash it out. Brush it through if you want. I'm going to show you my secret weapon again. It's a colander. I say you've got maybe some people have got heads or whatever. I might actually make something like this. Sell it, make a fortune. Um, yeah, you know I mean, just obviously I'm trying to do it two-handed here with the camera. Brush it through. See how it's nicely brushed through there. Um, yeah, you know I mean, it does look in it's looking condition. Yes, the system's only. Um, a few, like not even a week old, so it's gonna look good. Um, it's nice and silky. So yeah, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let that sit and just dry like that, really. Um, you know, you could if you want, if you wanted to speed the process up, use a hair dryer or something like that, um, or a towel. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it like that, and yeah, have a shower, come back to you. So guys, we're back in the bathroom. Um, I would usually recommend doing something like this downstairs on the table, but I literally don't want to change all my gear around and everything like that for the camera. Um, so I've just literally turned the colander upside down. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick on the bottom first. Um, I'm going to stick that on my head and then do, do the top after. Some people like to put the hair system all on in one go, which is fine if you're confident doing that. But I like to do like a 50-50 um, on that. So I don't know if this is a good balancing act or not. So what you do with the tapes um, on the hair system is like, I like, just like to cut a few in half. Um, ideally get some sharper scissors, these, these are, are going. Um, if you're brave enough, let me try two at once. Okay, all right. I see, I don't know why they make them together like this. Maybe it's so you don't, have like your hand, like your handed like left and right. I think you should just do a left pack and a right pack because um, there would actually be no cutting involved at all. These, oh my god, these scissors are bad. Anyway, um, I always try and keep this on the sides, like the right side, um, if you can. So then literally, all you have to do is just get each curvature that you can. Doesn't matter if you slightly overlap like that. So then you know, peel this side off like that, and then I'll just literally keep going around, getting like close to the edge as possibly can. And um, the hair is still. I knew this was a bad idea. The hair is still a little bit damp, um, which I think is a good thing. It just stops, you know, if you do get any tape sticking to the hair, it's not gonna, it's not gonna pull it off. Try not do what I did then and touch your thumb on it. Now, now we're talking, we're, we're finding techniques as we're going. Like I said, I really should have done this on the table. What I'm gonna do as well, is I'm just gonna personally stick one in the middle 
Um, they didn't do this when I went, but I just think it would help. And there we go, that's half of it taped. You know, not the best job in the world, but you get the idea. So then now, what I'm gonna do is like the very front, I'm gonna match that up to the front of my head. Okay, so I'm just gonna try the best I can to line it up. It's hard because of all the hair. Like, I can, I can see where my old hair's been. You can just lift it up, you know, just go back ever so slightly and just get on that line that I was on. And then match the corners. And hopefully, there you go. So just make sure that not too bad. It wants to come a little bit. Oops. Oh, see. see, the beauty of it, if you don't take it too hard, is you can have another go. So again, just get that in the centre. That's better there now on that side and then literally just push that down and then work this back. And it should just flip over. So let's press firmly. Okay, I realise it might not look the best now. So we'll just do that and then what I'm going to do then is pull this forward to where the tape line is. Can we guess what we're going to do next? So now literally all we're going to do is tape the front, so just pull it back. Like I said to you, if you really want to, you could do it all in one. Um, I just find, or when I did the glue, it's just easy just to do a 50-50. You know, we, you're not you're not under pressure um, to get it right first time. You know, what I mean, you can do the back and then do the front, um, and just go from there. So now I'm just gonna take this in the corner. Do better than that. Corner. Do then is just kind of pick best angle. So when you are ready, you literally just hold down like that. Have no creases as well. I like to just press firmly. Sorted. So now I'll just give it a quick dry and I'll see you in the other room. So yeah, her stuck back on with the tape. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm definitely better um, sticking in the middle. I'm not getting that you know, uppy feeling in the middle. Um, maybe another couple of tapes could have worked well. I might have stuck it on. No, I don't think it's one-sided. I think it's all right. Um, like I said, it was actually quite easy, than, easy to do. That was actually my first time. Um, obviously, like I said, a table would have been better. Um, definitely easier than gluing. So if you're not comfortable gluing, maybe start off on the tapes, maybe try glue. Um, like I said, the tape was a lot easier. It was so easy to clean. So I can imagine, like I said, if you are the kind of person that wants to take your her system off for a day or so, if you don't sleep comfortable with it on, um, I don't know. I don't know anyone that does sleep uncomfortable with one on, but I reckon you could have time in the morning if you had quite a bit of time. So yeah, I thought it was pretty easy to do. Like I said, I'm quite happy with it. So 
tape, yeah, for me, not too bad to do at all. So let me know what you guys thought of this one. Um, anything else you want me to do in my YouTube channel, always please don't forget to put your comments in that box and um, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you later.